Good day, girls and boys. Reggie Rue here. What's everyone's favorite earth mover? A digger, of course. They're great for moving lots of dirt. Here is a yellow digger scooping up some dirt. His friend, the dump truck, reverses up slowly. The shovel lifts up and the dirt piles into the back of the dump truck. Look how the digger can spin all the way around. Did you know diggers are also called excavators? Can you say excavator? Ex ka bay ter excavator. The excavator scratches at the ground and lifts up the dirt like a giant hand. Oops, don't spill it. Away goes the dump truck with a full load of dirt in the back. Can you see how many wheels the dump truck has? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six big wheels. He'll be back for more soon. And so will I. Hooroo. Hi, girls and boys. Reggie Roo here. Do you know what a backhoe is? A backhoe is the great all-rounder of a building site, which means they can do lots of different jobs. Backhoes are actually three separate pieces of equipment combined into one. In the middle, there's a strong and powerful tractor, just like one on a farm. Therefore, it's great for moving over rough ground. At the front is the loader, which is used to push and move dirt around. And at the rear is the backhoe. It's made up of the boom, the stick, and the bucket. The backhoe is great for digging. Can you see? It's similar to an excavator. Once all the dirt has been dug up, the backhoe can use the loader to move the dirt away. What a clever machine! Backhoes also have stabilizer legs and a cabin. The legs extend out and dig into the ground. They keep the backhoe steady while it's digging. And the cabin is for the operator to sit in and control the backhoe. Toot toot! Looks like it's time for the operator to have a break. Let's go get a cup of tea. Hooroo! Hi girls and boys, Reggie Roo here. Have you seen a bulldozer before? Bulldozers are large, powerful earth movers. Heavy bulldozers run on tracks instead of wheels, just like a tank. They're great at pushing around dirt, sand, rubble, or any sort of material. This is perfect for rough terrain, and it means they won't sink on sandy or muddy ground. This bulldozer is pushing sand around on a beach. The big dozer flattens the pile of sand as it reverses back. At the front of a bulldozer is the blade. The blade is a heavy metal plate which pushes the material. Can you see the blade? And at the back, some bulldozers have a ripper. The ripper has sharp shanks that dig into the ground. It can be used to loosen hard ground.
They also have a cabin for the operator and a big exhaust pipe at the front. Bulldozers can also be used to clear land. Or they can be useful for moving rocks at mines. Have you ever used a bulldozer to move around sand in a sand pit? Hooroo! Hi girls and boys, Reggie Roo here. Have you seen a mine before? A mine is a place where machines dig up minerals. There is lots of activity at the mine today. There are excavators digging up coal and a huge yellow dump truck. The yellow dump truck is so big it towers over everything with large wheels and a bed at the back for loading earth. It would be hard to find a bigger truck. This means it can move lots and lots with every load. The bed is empty now. Oops, be careful of the rocks. The enormous excavator scoops up the earth, spins, then opens, dropping the load into the dump truck's bed. The dump truck is now full of rocks and dirt. The bed lifts up, and the load pours out the back. Wow! Do you wish you had a sand pit that big? Hooroo! Hi girls and boys, Reggie Roo here. Have you ever seen a concrete mixer truck before? Yes? A concrete mixer has a large drum on the back that spins. Can you see the drum spin? Inside the drum, the truck mixes cement, sand, gravel, and water to make gluggy wet concrete. The wet concrete is ready to be delivered to a building site. The drum keeps spinning, making sure the concrete doesn't dry out. At the building site, they pour the concrete out. And the builders spread the wet concrete around using trowels. For hard to reach places, Concrete mixers get help from a concrete pump. A concrete pump has a large extendable boom arm with a hose. It sucks up the concrete from the mixer and pours it out of the hose. Now the builder can reach a really large area. Out pours the wet concrete. Splodge, splodge. All that wet concrete is very messy, isn't it? Lucky the builder has big Wellington boots and a strong apron. Finally, they make the surface nice and smooth.
Did you know that when concrete dries, it becomes as hard as rock? Have you ever walked on a concrete path? Huru. Good day, boys and girls. Reggie Roo here. Do you like diggers? Have you ever seen one with a hydraulic breaker on its arm? There's a digger with a breaker. The digger uses the breaker to hammer into the concrete footpath. Tap, 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 it goes. They're breaking up the concrete so the workmen can build a new footpath. The breaker scratches, scrapes, and hammers away. Can you see the ground shake? Oh! The digger lifts up a large piece of concrete and pushes it to the side. The workman helps by showing the best place to hammer. Tap, tap, tap. The pavement gets broken into tiny pieces. In the digger cabin, a man controls the digger arm and breaker. It's very loud, isn't it? Now, the workman uses a level to make sure the new pavement will be flat with no bumps to trip on. The clever digger can spin all the way around and hammer on the other side too. Can you see the man in the cabin controlling the digger? And off the digger drives. The workmen have had a busy day preparing the footpath for the new pavement. Hooroo! Good day, everyone. It's Reggie Roo here. I'm not sure what we're up to today. Shall we have a look together? What's that? It looks like a yellow maintenance train, but what's that it's carrying? That's right. It has two yellow diggers on the back. Do you know what a maintenance train does? It fixes the railway to make sure the trains can travel safely. Look, the digger is unloading the workman's equipment. Wow, the digger arm has a claw, and it's using the claw to grab onto a large barrel. It lifts up the heavy barrel and places it carefully on the side. Now it grabs a crate and drops it down. The arm spins back. And the digger drives down the ramp using its arm to balance. The top spins all the way around. And the digger heads back the other way behind the train. Now the man gets into the second digger and begins to drive off the train, getting ready to work. Uh-oh, look, here comes a red passenger train. Lucky they've been looking after the track. Hooroo. Hi, boys and girls. Reggie Roo here. Have you ever wondered how roads are made? Well, today, we're going to see a really large paver, a dump truck, a road roller, and a backhoe loader all working together to make a road. Here's the large paver. At the back, the screed lowers down. Now, the noisy dump truck reverses up. The back of the dump truck is full of hot asphalt. 
Look, the back begins to lift up. It's tipping the hot asphalt into the front of the paver. Together, the dump truck and paver move forward. And the asphalt comes out of the rear of the paver. Can you see the asphalt? It lays the asphalt down across the wide road. And here comes the heavy road roller. Back and forth it goes, squashing the asphalt down. It's making the road nice and smooth for the cars. The yellow backhoe loader scrapes up any extra asphalt. It scratches the road. And a man paints the lines with hot paint on the finished street. Can you see the flame heating the paint? That was great. Now you know how your street was made. Uru. Good day, girls and boys. Reggie Roo here. It looks like we're at a building site today. Aren't we lucky? And what's that? It's a large orange forklift. The builders in their bright protective clothing are attaching something to the forks. It's a blue lifting eye attachment. It's to help the forklift pick something up. What do you think it will lift today? Can you see the red chain hanging down? They're attaching the chain to a big blue bin full of rubbish. Wow! The bin swings on the chain. The forklift huffs and puffs, slowly lifting the heavy bin. The driver carefully maneuvers the bin above an even bigger skip bin. The arm extends out. And lowers to squash down the rubbish in the skip bin. Now they tilt the bin so all the rubbish falls out. Isn't that smart? The arm then extends out again, and the bin is lowered back on the ground. Crunch. The builder undoes the chain, and off goes the forklift, ready for the next job. Hooroo! Hi everyone! It's Reggie Roo here. We're off to visit a building site today. What's that, boys and girls? That's right, it's a truck. But it's a special type of truck called a grab lorry. A grab lorry is used on building sites to move things. This grab lorry is moving dirt. The arm swings around, the claw opens, and the dirt drops onto the truck. The man is using the controls to move the arm and grab the dirt. Can you see the arm moving? There's a lot of dirt to remove from the building site today. Wow. Look at the claw spin around. The driver pats down the dirt. That way, no dirt flies out of the truck when the truck drives off. Crunch, crunch, crunch. He shakes the claw to get all the remaining dirt out. Then he places the arm on top. Now, the grab lorry is ready to drive away. He jumps up into the front to take all the dirt away. They must have picked up a lot of dirt. Do you wish you could grab that much dirt? Look at the big hole left behind. 
Huru. Hi, boys and girls. Reggie Roo here. What stands high above a building site? Has a long boom, a hoist, and a metal wire for lifting and moving things around. It's a crane. The tall crane works like a big arm in hand. It picks things up and puts them down at another part of the site. Like these heavy metal poles. They would be too heavy to move without the crane. Down on the ground, here is Andre in his orange jacket and helmet. He is the slinger signaler. Andre works with the crane operator. He attaches or detaches anything that the crane picks up. This time, he is clipped on a large bin. Watch as the bin goes high in the air. Wow! Up on top, the builders will load the bin with lots of rubbish. The crane towers high above the building. Can you see the cabin? This is where the crane operator sits. Now, here comes the bin. It's been filled with rubbish. Andre directs it in. He clips it up so the rubbish unloads. Do you think a crane would be helpful to clean up your room? Yeah, me too. The bin swings back across and Andre helps place it on the ground. He unclips the wire. And the crane hoists the wire back up, ready for the next job. Uru. Hello everyone. Do you know your alphabet? It starts with A. A is for aeroplane, high up in the sky. B. B is for bus. Brum, brum, brum. C. C is for combine harvester, chomping up the crop. D. D is for digger, playing in the dirt. E. E is for engine, like a steam engine. Toot, toot. F. F is for fjord ferry. What a lovely day. G. G is for garbage truck. Gobbling up the trash. H. H is for hot air balloon. Shh. Shh. I. I is for ice skating. Or even ice racing. J. J is for jet ski, skimming along. K. K is for kite surfing. Whee! L. L is for lawnmower. Chop, chop, chop. M. M is for motorbike. Good day, Mick. N. N is for naval vessel. O. O is for oil tanker. Gee, that's big. P. P is for police car. Nino, 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 Nino. Q. Q is for quad bike. That looks fun. R. R is for rocket. Heading to the moon. S. S is for seaplane. Landing on water. T. T is for tram. It goes on a track. U. U is for underground train. Watch out below. V. V is for van. Driving through the snow. W. W is for wagon. Being pulled by a horse. X. X can be found at the railway crossing. Look for the train. Y. Y is for yacht. Sailing on the sea. And Z. Z is for a zigzagging skier. Uru.
G'day, boys and girls. It's Reggie Roo here. How do workmen fix things that are really high up? Well, they could use a telescopic boom. Here is a red telescopic boom. Can you see the worker on the platform? He's using the controls to move the boom up and to the side and up again. Look how big it is. The boom is as tall as the building. Would you like to be up high on a telescopic boom, or would you be too scared? The boom has a very long extendable arm and a base with wheels. The worker now moves the boom across, so he can work on a different part of the building. He is very careful. Look at him now. Do you think he could get that high without a boom? No. The big red boom swings to the left, and the arm lowers down. The boom is very big. It almost takes up the whole street. Down goes the man. He's finished his work. With the help of his telescopic boom, of course. Hooroo! Good day, girls and boys. Reggie Roo here. Today, we're going to a farm. Have you been to a farm before? Here's a farm with a large field of maize. It's ready to harvest. The farmer uses a big yellow combine harvester to collect the rows of maize. Can you see the silver pointy section at the front? That's the header. Through the field, the combine harvester travels, chomping up the maize as it goes. Maize is like corn. They use it to feed cows. High up in the cabin, you can see the silver and yellow header as it sucks up the grain. Carefully, the driver steers the combine harvester along the straight rows of maize. Behind him, the grain tank begins to fill up. And out the back, a cloud of waste spreads out as the combine drives away. This is good for the soil. Then, out swings the auger, like an elephant trunk. And here comes a tractor and trailer to take the maize away. The maize pours out of the auger and into the trailer. That's a lot of maize. Once the trailer is full, the tractor can continue on its way. Thanks, combine harvester, for collecting all the grain, it says. Through the field drives the tractor. Using a forklift with a telescopic arm and shovel, they load all the maize into a semi-trailer. Wow. Look at the roof close on the top of the truck. And away the truck goes. Off to feed some hungry cows. Hooroo! Good day, girls and boys. Reggie Roo here. Hooray! We're back at the farm again today. Would you like to see how the farmer feeds a whole shed of cows? I would too. Here comes the farmer, Carl. Carl is driving a large forklift with a telescopic arm. He attaches the shovel and begins scooping up the silage. Then he drops it into the red feeder. Silage is a mixture of different grass crops maize, and cereals. The cows think it's yummy. Would you like to eat some too? No, that's silly. Using the green tractor, he pulls out the red feeder full of yummy silage for the cows. The feeder pulls up beside the cows. Look, here comes breakfast, says one of the hungry black cows. What's going to happen? Wow, the silage pours out. Careful you don't get hit in the head, girls, says another cow. Back and forth goes the noisy tractor. That's a lot of food. The silage jumps out the top as the feeder goes past. Look at how happy they are now, points out Eloise. Jump, jump, jump. Here comes young Purdy. She's helping to feed the cows. Thank you, Purdy. Moo. 
Now, Carl uses the forklift to get some straw for dessert. Lucky cows. He dumps the straw into the feeder and cuts the string. The straw chopper sprays the straw behind the cows. It goes over the top of the cows and some gets on the cow's back. Oops. Thanks, Carl, for the yummy dessert, say the cows. Hmm, now I'm hungry. Hooroo! Good day, girls and boys. Reggie Roo here. Have you ever wondered how hedges get so straight? Here's a hedge. And what is that behind it? Look, it's a green tractor with a long yellow hedge cutter. Can you see the spinning blades on the hedge cutter? The blades chop up everything they touch. They can cut grass low down on the ground. And they can cut the hedge high up on the top. Crunch, crunch, crunch. The hedge cutter chomps up the dry branches. Wow. The farmer carefully controls the cutter. As the cutter moves along, it leaves a straight hedge behind. The big red wheels are great for driving on the muddy road. Now we know how hedges get so straight. Uru. Hi boys and girls, Reggie Roo here. Where do you think we are today? It looks like a large building site. There's lots of activity at the site today. What do you think is inside that large white silo? It's full of mortar. Can you see the mortar pour out the bottom? Do you know what mortar is? It's like glue for buildings. It goes between the bricks to hold them together. And what's happening now? The silo is empty, so a truck has come to take the silo away. Wow. Watch it lower down. Bang, crunch. It's very heavy, even when it's empty. After doing his safety checks, the driver gets in the cabin. And off goes the truck to get some more mortar for the builders. Would you like to see more from the building site? Stay tuned. Hooroo! Hello kids, Reggie Roo here. Today, we're looking at tractors. Where do you think you could find a tractor? That's correct, on a farm. Tractors are slow, but very strong. They can be used for all sorts of jobs. like hauling grain. Or plowing a field. Or perhaps even to move machinery. Tractors can also be used to spread dirt or manure around a field. Some tractors can be used for fun, like taking a joyride. Would you like to go on a tractor ride? There are small tractors that are good for wineries. 
that can easily fit between the rows of grapes. And really big tractors with large wheels. Tractors come in lots of colors. There are red tractors, blue tractors, yellow tractors, and there are green tractors with yellow wheels. What's your favorite color tractor? Hooroo! Feel free to comment below. What would you like to see next? And don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>